the big bottle. Is it just not so nice? It's beautiful. We did pull off a pretty low-key trip, to say the least. Right? How have you been corporate? Has it been awkward? Awkward? Just like you two on your first like family trip together yeah. since. I mean. I think it's honestly been better than ever. I think you two co-parent phenomenally, and it's gotten to that point so much faster than most people would. Like my yeah. dad and my mom took years and years. All we could really want, you know, at the end of the day was if it couldn't be us, but we could still do everything that we've set out to do, I mean, it's unbelievable. If I was Sophia, I would be so insecure. I don't care how <laughs> confident you are. It's yeah. weird if you're Sophia. I mean, Sophia knew going into this that I was extremely close with Courtney. She was like, listen, I will never get in between you and your family and your children. Just speak to me and make me comfortable. That's very mature of her. I don't know if I could do it. That's very I, I couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> I'll it's tell you right now. very mature of her. She's and that's a better person than I am. I thought for a very long time mm -hmm. that I was going to live a very miserable life. I didn't think that I was going to have happiness again. My biggest thing to Courtney was, no matter who we're with, even though our children might not see everything, they do feel it, and they totally. can hear it, and the energy, and everyone needs to be OK with each other. But do you think the healer that you met with, him saying that about like the soulmates or whatever, does that bother her? Like, will that create a fight later in your relationship? I definitely don't want to disrespect my relationship with Sophia because it means a lot to me. And whether Courtney and I are soulmates or not, I feel like I owe a lot to Courtney for the times that I missed when I wasn't the best partner to her. So I feel like I will forever be making up for that lost time for the rest of her life. I think it's unbelievable that me and Courtney are able to live the way we are and be able to open up to each other. A lot of people, including us, didn't know that we were gonna be able to do it or work it out like this. I thank God every day for it because, you know, my kids and my family are the most important thing to me. And I think at first when you hear soulmates, you assume two people must be together. We obviously aren't and we're doing very well, but I'm not exactly sure what it meant to her and I don't really know exactly how she's gonna take it. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't want to hurt anybody. Sophia knows that we're raising three kids together. And until our kids are 100, I'll still be making sure that Courtney and our kids are a priority in my life. Yeah.